Hello everyone, this is Jack from Visual Effects Sort, teaching you how to get fluids into Cinema 4D without using plugins. So, I've got this scene set up already, so we're going to have this pouring out the liquid. Um, we've got the just two obstacles, and then we've got a domain object which you can't see at the moment. Um, so, let's get started. So let's get this set up as a collider. And just see if it's a set of both of these as collision objects, and then the fluid as a flow, and then we want to change it to liquid and inflow. Then for surface emission, we just want to set this to any number, let's so set it to one. Then we go back to our domain. I put the eyeball on um, fluid and we will make this a domain and it's a liquid domain so if you hit Z on the keyboard you can just see wireframe view so you can see what the hell's going on so for time scale I'd recommend putting in 0 0.45 slow it down a little bit and rather than the stupidly quick simulations that you can see out there um, minimum value, we set this to about 2, it can be probably about 2 or 3 and it will give you a more realistic simulation. Um, whilst you're testing the simulation you can leave this at 64 so you can see how smooth it runs and whether you want to up the res afterwards. And then we scroll to the bottom and under cache where it says modular just change this to replay and then we'll be able to actually watch it in our viewport so we can see what's going on and then when we hit the play button we can see it doing stuff which is pretty cool see it interacting with these objects and we'll stop it there so let's say that we love that and that's what we're going to go for we um, go back to the domain settings we can crank this up to 128 now to get more resolution we need to go back to modular set that back to modular um, and we'll just get to 41 frames again not spend too much time on it Because we're going to use Cinema 4D as well, let's set this to Open VDV. And because we was happy with it, then we can just go straight to the mesh stage. So just tick the mesh box, keep this at two, this isn't really relevant if you're sending it out, but I'm just going to do it just in case, so whilst it does its little bit of bakey nonsense if we ever needed to do anything in blender as well you've got that ticked and then we just press bake data up here first um, and then once we've got that ticked we just go bake data first you'll see down here that it's just baking the fluid so once you've done that then we just need to go bake mesh so as you can see We've got a nice detailed mesh now. So if we play this, look at that, looks really cool. And it's quite fast as well, it seems to be really impressive. And then I guess the next step is the splash particles. So why not? Let's just have all of them. Might not use them all in Cinema 4D, but let's just have them all. Um, looking at the settings, there's nothing that I'd kind of want to change. So we can just bake the part yours straight away, and it's quite fast compared to the other two. Cool. You'd think that would be the longest part of this, but it's not. Um, so, now we've got mesh and splash particles 
So let's save that. But now we want to get this into Cinema 4D. So how do we do that? So we have got the VDB, which is quite useful for certain things if you're using other renderers or if you want to try little tricks with smoke and stuff. But the best way that I've found is to use, do one of these, which is go to export and then go to Alembic. Um, name your file and then just press export. Might take some time, so it's got to play through that animation. And that's the blender part done. 